a car that runs on water instead of gasoline. Can it be true? Well, inventor Stanley Meyer made an announcement today in Colorado Springs. He says he's come up with a device that will hook up to any engine and allow it to run on good old H2O. News 13's Kurt Goff tonight on the possible impact of the water fuel cell. The national Stanley Meyer says the answer to dependence on foreign oil lies all around us. In seawater, tap water, and rainwater. Any kind of H2O, he says, can power just about every type of engine. How? With the water fuel cell. It fits in the palm of his hand, but it could revolutionize the world. You're talking about a pollution-free, totally new source of energy, the voltage disassociation of water. The fuel cell converts water into a gas, hydrogen oxygen, which is released in the form of thermo-explosive energy. So the water fuel injector simply replaces the spark plug. We hook it to a hydrogen computer system which regulates and meters the flow going into the injector. It processes the water in such a way to release its thermal explosive energy. The man who invented an engine that can run on water says he's been offered a billion dollars in cash by oil producing countries to sell his patent. So far, he hasn't sold. Environmental specialist Jan Porter talked to the inventor who thinks that the U.S. auto industry could produce cars that run on water now if they wanted to. Our industrial base of the world is based on the utilization of Stan Meyer has a car that runs on water, and that's drawing crowds okay. at this year's Extraordinary Science Conference in Colorado Springs. Myers has developed what is called the water fuel cell injector. The injector breaks down the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen, and the hydrogen is what powers the car. Basically all we do is replace uh, the spark plug and replace it with the water fuel cell injector you see right here. Mm -hmm. We simply feed ordinary non-processed water or processed water in here, and as the water goes into the injector, uh, it hits a very high pulse voltage frequency, which instantly converts it into thermal explosive energy. And as a result, we can run this car down a road on water. Meyer's invention was introduced in Britain earlier this month, and now the Brits have followed him here. That we recently took a scientific delegation to witness Stan's work, to really evaluate it, and came back saying, this is one of the most important inventions of the century. This is no ordinary car. It's a dream come true. A car that runs on a cheap, safe fuel that's in limitless supply. The car can be run on any form of natural water. You can use rainwater, well water, sea water, uh, ocean water, and uh, if you don't have ocean water available, you can go ahead and use snow. Uh, just use any form of natural water. You don't process it in any way. You add no chemicals to it. Just use ordinary rainwater. The inventor believes he's found a way of generating some form of atomic power from water. And it was this dream of endless energy from water that was first raised five years ago this week. And there's one person who firmly believes he's beaten the rest of the world to it. Behind these garage doors in Ohio lies, allegedly, the world's first water-powered car, the creation of amateur inventor Stanley Mayer. This dune buggy uh, operates around 65 miles per hour on around 60 miles per gallon of water. It's very efficient as opposed to running on gasoline. One time I was offered well over a billion dollars in, uh, in cold cash to uh, to buy out the technology to suppress it. Uh, of course, my interest is to get it into the economies of the world and do it very quickly. We have developed the technology over the years and we've legalized the technology and now what we're trying to do is coordinate with industry to design a kits that can be fitted to an existing internal combustion engine, whether it's a gasoline engine or even uh, a diesel engine. His kit is not unlike a cold fusion cell, but with very high voltages applied. Skeptics believe it's no more than a battery storage device, but a New York millionaire is paying to have it all checked out in a secret lab in Boston. Although the car wasn't running when we came to film, 
Pictures were taken earlier by the local TV station. Back to 1998. The top our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Are they? <laughs> sure they are. Are. Are they? Where does this guy live? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah, intro. why don't you come in here and uh, show us your little invention? Yeah. And drop this <laughs> J-Dam into his house. <laughs> Just blow him up. <laughs> hey, I want to know what happened. Hey, what happened? Yes. <laughs> CIA is very interested. Yeah. Well, this is 1998. Oh, yeah. Where, where are we at? Where's, where is this guy now? Where's he at? Where's the water power car? He's in Guantanamo. Oh. I'm, not a, I'm not a terrorist. I swear. <laughs> We got started. Swear out. to God, I'll never invent anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, not another toe. <laughs> Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. The late Stan he has Myers. developed what's called a water fuel cell. Can you it has him? taken the place of his old gas tank. I was, I was right behind you. You got to Oh, oh wait a minute. Meyer. Danny's we, got some news I on I guarantee him. he's dead. He died and, in a car and, accident. And it's something a heart attack, suspicious. car accident. What, wait, 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 wait. Danny, you have the answer? Yeah. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's try. Let's try. Hold on. This hold on. This guy is so dead. Go. It's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> so dead. So fucking dead. Not even just dead. He's so dead. Okay. Let's... Someone bought the patent. Nothing ever happened, and he had a heart attack. I want to say yeah. that something weird in his past suddenly came up. They don't even need to kill you anymore. They I'm going to just... say a knife fight in a bar. No, it's got to be a car crash. Nah. It just has to be. Like they cut his brake lines. Or he something. fell down the stairs, and his family wondered why he had handcuffs on his hands and feet. <laughs> They, they did the kiddie porn thing to him. Uh, they switched his hard uh, drive. Yeah, that's what they did. A character assassination. That's what they usually go with two inventors. Uh, All right, Danny, what do we got on stand? Well, uh, Mr. Meyer was mysteriously poisoned. <laughs> Holy shit! Get the fuck out no, of he here. wasn't. And the poison uh, caused an aneurysm in his brain. <laughs> and he died leaving a restaurant. <clears throat> wow. That's a, a theory. Oh, man, Bill. Oh, shit. You say I, I'm with you. Don't, I'm, I'm so with you I'm on this one, Bill. You, I'm don't telling fuck you. with the government. The last, that's not the government. It's the oil companies who... They're more telling, powerful. Yeah, they're... They were, yeah, it's wow, like, they, they fucking got him. Yeah. They got him. Wow. And what happened to his big fucking... Well, the, the, the brother of uh, Stan claims that, uh, I think like a week or two after his death... People broke into where he had this uh, this water powered dune buggy and just just stole it, torn <laughs> pieces, and he doesn't know what happened to his guy. Oh so, come and, on! And, and his brother's too stupid. Like he, he, you know, talent like that probably is just one person. Yeah, it was just him. Another one guy. Like, one he one guy. Watches Sports Center, right? He doesn't yeah. give a fuck, right? Oh, yeah, he had a water powered. You ever see that like that guy? That... You ever like you go on there and you see like some of the inventions that were that were just suppressed. And then they used to just always say that the person was crazy, like that guy Tesla right out there. Yeah, Long Tesla Island. is l like, lunatic. All this wireless technology, he came up with the shit, I guess, in the 1800s, and you could actually, you just, he, there was these big ugly things, but you'd put it in, and he somehow tapped in the electricity or whatever, and you could, everyone could have had it for free. And then they, <laughs> like Wi-Fi electricity. Yeah, and then they just went up and, hey, that's real interesting. Eh, put him in a fucking headlock, you know? <laughs> he's crazy. He's talking about force fields and, and right, aliens. He's out of his fucking mind, and they just totally destroyed him <laughs> as a human being, and like 150 years later, now And Edison was their guy. Hey, Thomas Edison, wires, Dude, it, goes to a power station, you pay for it. Let's go back to the news story from 1998. Uh, oh. More on Stan Meyer. Yeah. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. And the oil company said, here's some poison water. Yeah, yeah, yeah here you go. So what, did water, you sir? In the, in the Pentagon is interested? Yeah. You know what kills me is it's so That's fucking bad. it's so fucking obvious 
It's just like that really is. It's like, just, and you know I would sit here and argue with Bill Burr about this, this and go, this good. is bullshit. Uh, I can't I believe am they so killed him. With you I, here. I, I thought that they were just going to go the, not the only did destroy they, his character. Not only did they kill him. Not only did, oh, that's awful. Not only did uh, they kill him, we knew that he was dead. Had to be dead. I, I'd never heard of this guy before. Anyone Poison. else? I All can't right. believe it. The second part of the story. <laughs> Myers started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Uh, Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. Uh, and we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Myers' invention. There's talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance, and you won't have to replace it. Wait, it'll be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The day it happens will be one the fuel industry hates, but it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. This is oh, oh fill her up, all right. He wrote his death sentence right there. Oh, that was it. God, this is, not, knowing I'm, he's dead is so obvious. They flew in a colonel. A lieutenant colonel was flown in. and this is It's like that Brady Bunch yeah. episode. When yeah, with the, the UFO. No, this has got to be older than 98. Because they said the Star Wars defense. This has got to be older than 98. Can we get the oh, there you go. It's no, a UFO. I, no, it's swamp gas. Everything I found oh, referenced 1998. Wow, yeah. okay. Wow. Dude, that he is basically amazing. came up with a way to, to make him, to make to, the, to the people murdered. who are making the most money in this country to go broke. Broke. I've discovered a way to fuck over the Illuminati. And <laughs> come on over to my house. <laughs> That's it. You're done. You're fucking the done. Illuminati. <laughs> and there's no way there you couldn't just prevent people from grabbing a bucket of water from somewhere you know so they can't they can't capitalize it the oil companies can't go okay now we're the water company no the way number, the number way, one way to control people is if you control the energy they figured it out years ago yeah, yeah, yeah. centuries ago whatever. we need it wow. so yeah so they got everybody so if this guy you know it's just like hey you want to go to connecticut i got a bottle of water there, huh? <laughs> yeah it's nothing That's... and then he was saying it's going to be a day you know bad day for the oil companies but a good day for people that want to say fill her up but before that day there's gonna be a bad day for stan <laughs> oh it's gonna start with the guy shooting a little dart into his <laughs> neck from across the fucking it's gonna, room it's gonna start with liquid diarrhea and end <laughs> with death <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't take out his brother, too. Oh, that's, yeah. That's the kind of thing. They that probably really, he must have been some kind of Billy Carter moron motherfucker that they just figured ah, there's no chance. He's just, retarded. Just give him some pennies to play with. All those guys. I used to bit my act about that shit. We, we used to you'd see these guys in the news. They'd figure out how to make their, their truck run on, like, ketchup or something. <laughs> and they, they'd always show it, and then you just never see never the guy Never hear again. about him anymore. The see him. Uh, companies are really looking into this, taking yeah. a strong interest. So uh, what's the weather going to be like this? weekend and it just goes away End and then the story that, that guy's at like a fat burger like six months later all of a sudden just clutching his chest <laughs> <laughs> it just falls over that motherfucker was just like and it's gonna cost next to nothing it never has to be replaced and good news the colonel's being flown in la to new york means? on a fucking thimble of water and a lieutenant colonel said, and an assassin are being flown in he said, from the pentagon he said everything wrong everything uh, ring the bell every time this uh, this stand says something. Uh, that that, that got the Pentagon's ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You got something good? What is it? Yeah, let me hear. It. All right, this will happen every time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the assassin. <laughs> yeah, you know, the assassin like practicing uh, with a target of Stan. Stupid in the Stan bowel, in the bowels of the Pentagon. All right, here's so here's that same story again. Listen for all the things he probably shouldn't have said. The top our news here at six o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. 
away. <laughs> if you're really desperate, empty the ice, ice cube tray. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Spit in it. Right. He'll take you to fucking Florida. We'll lay a bunch of cactuses uh, out and put plastic, plastic. in a locker. <laughs> Lick your locker! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I'm a so dead. Can you come up with uh, uh, an, another way where you could even? I'm trying to figure out how, how you air. how you how can you top air getting oxygen. killed that that quickly? That is oh, no. the worst thing he could have said. The only people that weren't impressed were people that lived in like New Mexico and Arizona. <laughs> oh, holy shit! He fucked up so badly. The so dead. He just go, just go to a mosque in the Middle East and just yell "fuck Allah," and, <laughs> yeah. and you'll live. You'll live. Long